Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to check out a new camera application. So you might have heard about this in Snapdragon camera application. One of the major requirements for this uh, phone is that uh, this thing is going to work on your rooted devices. Why? Because you guys have to, you know, uh, install a GIF file. Otherwise, it is not available in the Play Store. Neither via the APK. Now, guys, just by taking pictures with this uh, camera application, you really cannot tell whether this camera application is good or not. So. I'm gonna take in comparison some other camera application with them so I'm gonna take this default OnePlus stock camera along with this Google camera and the Snapdragon camera so I'm just taking a couple of photos here in comparison with that uh, you can see other camera applications for example the stock camera this Google camera all the three here. so you guys can notice I'm not going to share you my experience which one do I like because you know it strictly your personal preference what kind of photos do you like I'll be sharing you my experience at the end of the video which photos do I like so these are pretty much indoor photos nothing much crazy on that so uh, I just try to take some macro shots some zoom also maybe guys in case uh, just to see whether there's really any difference in terms if I use snapdragon phone with a snapdragon camera on it so some things are quite should be different all right guys so a couple of other situations here you can see different colors i also try to pick it out so anyway guys so these are the photos that we have seen now along with that uh, why not just take a small video clip so i've just taken a small one minute clip and i just made a fast forward on a 4x zoom so this is a simple video so nothing looks too different here just except some of the focus here and there and you know, some kind of focusing distance you can say focal length you can say Otherwise everything is pretty much normal. So guys, there you have it. These are the, some of the samples I do have taken. So by this time, you might have decided which camera applications takes better pictures. Now let's take a closer look on the camera application itself. So this is your camera application. So you can see it just, uh, takes a bit of seconds to just focus. If I just change here again and just move to there, it takes a bit of time. So this is your selfie chain mode. And they got a couple of modes here, but uh, I always prefer and always recommend applications even though they give you less feature but they should work for example this is UV focus mode what I read with this mode here it's gonna take five picture in one single shot it's gonna combine all of them and that should give you great pictures so I've taken UV focus just gonna give it a try here so it has taken so it has taken five pictures so it should come here but you can see the camera <laughs> app is caught free itself so it's not gonna work uh, until unless you really close it so I've tried that a lot of time it's not working so just gonna try other mode so not all the modes are working you can see this one here HDR is working pretty much fine so I don't see much difference here this is with the HDR this is with the auto so overall it's fine but most of the features are not working and also there's some important feature here from once you can see a little bit of free shot so if you just select this video mode going inside the setting you do even though i have selected hd so they have some frame rate support you know high frame rate and high speed rate i don't really don't know much about those information but why what i can guess here these are the frame rates so the fall stock camera has 1080p 60 fps that should work here now if i go, go and do try it is a little bit higher 90 so it's gonna say hfr is not supported on select resolution I guys I don't know uh, what kind of device you know you want to get this feature supported I mean most of the people are using 8821 835 devices but these features are not working so maybe some high-end phones maybe some test devices so uh, these things are not working otherwise uh, they do have 4k supports which you're going to get in standard mode and the best the best thing I like about them you can actually once you start let me just first select here this one to 60 and now once you start filming video what 4k is not so 4k 60 fps okay okay got it 4k 60 fps not supported so once you start recording you can pause the audio and you can keep on recording so this is the best feature i like about this cam application otherwise guys it's really nothing make me too crazy so guys at the end whether you should be using this cam application or not so uh, i personally always use stock cam applications once i started this channel I started using Android phone so I did have shown you a lot of old videos top 10 camera application free paid and all the stuff but finally I landed to the default stock camera the reason being you know they are stable even though third party applications give you a lot of uh, features for example open camera but they does crash a lot because there are maybe a couple of one two max three persons working on this camera application development and the official camera you know the ROM manufacturer knows better than they better than us 
what kind of ROM is there, what kind of features are there, what kind of camera application should work, they know the device well. So they make, uh, you know, stable software. And if there's something wrong happen, you're going to get update very soon instead of, you know, just waiting for the developer to push on the update. So always try to use stock camera is great. And I really love them because most of the videos I do film with the phones only. So I always use stock camera applications and everything else. So guys, there you have it. This is your Snapdragon camera application. So you guys did enjoy that. Let me know in case you're going to use that. So guys, there you have it. This is your Snapdragon camera application. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day.